so good up there one night where we I was doing this. You know, and every time I did it, I was grabbing smelts in each one. You know, I grab it, grabbing eight to ten of them, eight to ten of them, and yep. filling my cargo. <laughs> Liam has been tagging along with us on a bunch of hunting trips over the last few years, but today he's gonna be a shooter for the first time trying to get his first grouse. All right, I got your scope on, your safety's on. Look through your scope, tell me how it looks. But we keep our finger off the trigger and we keep our muzzle pointed in a safe direction, right? We'll go nice and slow, okay? And just look for birds in the trees on the edge of the road. Uh, I started my business, Darigo Outfitters and Guide Service, back in 2021. The business is based around dogs, and uh, so we do rabbit hunting and bird hunting, and then we hound hunt also for bears and bobcat. Today we're out grouse hunting, and uh, we got my son Liam, who's eight now. He's been tagging along for a few years, learning the ropes, but this year he actually gets to carry his own shotgun and uh, get his own shot at his own birds. Yeah, I wrestled from, I think, the age of eight and uh, won a state championship for Mountain Valley back in 2004. It's our full intention that Liam here will be another heavyweight state champion for Mountain Valley in the future. He's got great coaches over there and Anthony Mazza and Shane Smith. And then my daughter is wrestling for Mount Blue and wrestles for the main national team. She's looking to win a state championship for Mount Blue. Getting your child into a youth wrestling program will help develop them in so many ways that you didn't expect. It just gives you a strength to find a way through situations. This is an old beaver dam. I'm just so grateful to live where we live. It's that's why it's nice to work here too and do the guide service right here because this is what we get to do every day. Uh, my dad here he brought me out when I was this age and it's what inspired me to be a guide. And I do most everything in the woods now that I learned from my dad when I was his age. I'd always discussed in the past about fighting over a 20 year span. I took my first pro fight when I was 19 and then I'm 39 now. And I had discussed it over the past few years of being off because I hadn't fought in seven years. Uh, went through some injuries and recovery and I just kind of changed gears into coaching wrestling. Matt called and I'm 39 years old, so it was time to put my money where my mouth was and take whatever fight he offered. Miles Emery, he's got a lot to prove. I mean, he's stepping up from a mediocre amateur career and stepping into the pro ranks, and whether he knows it or not, he's going to know it. There's a big difference between amateur fighters and pro fighters, and even though I'm almost 40 years old, haven't fought in seven years, coming right off the couch, I'm still going to take it to him. I think he's thinking uh, he's taking an easy route with trying to fight someone that was semi-retired and fat and old and out of shape, but uh, he's hugely mistaken because I can finish the fight any way I want to. If I want to finish it on the feet and knock him out, I'll do that. If I feel more comfortable at the time taking him to the ground and ripping his arm off, I'll do that. You know, maybe he'll give me his neck and I'll pop his head off. <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays are usually cardio day here at Cook Mill Boxing. Jump rope, get on that. Get on the maze bag, start working my head work, my footwork, start warming up a little bit. And then once my time comes, I jump on the mitts with Glenn. I get home about close to 10 o'clock, um, 10, 10 30 usually. And then right back at it, waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and get back to work again. So November 9th, coming into Bangor. Um, Seth Basler fighting in. 
I know he's tough. I know he's coming to a fight. His last fight, he won by a KO in 14 seconds. So I know he's got some pop in his hands. I know he's packed on muscle. But, um, you know, he needs oxygen to operate those things. He's been messaging me, calling me a little boy, calling me a skinny boy, but in all reality, man, like, this is the most fit, most physical fit, the best shape I've ever been in in my career. I've really put in the work this camp and stayed consistent, and I have not wavered once from my schedule. I've never been in a more consistent, better shape in my life. I, I feel very good. A happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. When I beat him, I get my hand raised. I'm in that next level discussion.